hi. We know and love this sweater, right? My Bowie sweater. And I mentioned this in the video that I made, but I've always wanted to add a little something to the front. And we all know, because all of you know me so well, I love music. <laughs> I think we all love music and I like making things inspired by my favorite songs. <laughs> what a crazy concept. I've never done that before. So this is gonna be no different. Well, I guess it's a little different because it's at whatever. Anyways, I love Boy Genius. Um, and my favorite Boy Genius song is True Blue. And I've been wanting to make something True Blue inspired for a long time. And I have, I sketched something up like a couple months ago. Cause when I think of something, I need to like put it down immediately. First of all, cause I'll forget. <laughs> Second of all, cause why not? Where's my iPad? Blue, topical. Ooh, I need to charge this thing. <laughs> Ooh. It's not perfect, okay? And I'm not confident on what I've drawn out either. I love having <laughs> like one like file where there's a hundred different drawings and I just like turn them off. So this feels weird to explain because I like don't like to get like deep, but Obviously we know the song is about friendship. Um, and something that like came to mind is like, this is gonna sound so weird, but don't judge me. Um, is like boxing. They mention, okay, <laughs> this is so stupid. Anyways, the lyrics, there are lyrics that it's like, um, I can't hide from you like I hide from myself, which is obviously about like your friends knowing you better than you know yourself, but I like, it made me think of like boxing and how there's like nowhere to hide in a boxing ring. Is that stupid? I don't care. I'm going to stand by my opinions. Okay. And then there's also a line where it's like, who won the fight? Um, what does it go? It's like, who won the fight? I don't know. I'm not keeping score or whatever. Anyways. It's about like tough love. Your love is tough. Your love is tried and true blue. You got to be tough if you're a boxer, right? I actually hate myself. And then I had this idea of like, kind of like a vintage, like retro, I feel like a deep pop girl using these words, boxing club, jersey or whatever. But that's like, I can't do anything too intricate because I literally don't have the ability. So I came up with something like this, which I think could be fun. I don't know, it's like pretty simple. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna do it, I do need to do like some measurements. Um, if we remember me making the Ellie sweater where I like took a picture of the sleeve and I added like stitch markers where I wanted things to be, that's kind of what I'm gonna do here. But the gloves, I don't know what I wanna do for the gloves. Initially, when I was thinking of this, I was thinking of doing like crocheting them and then sewing them on. But I don't, I don't know if I, have that ability <laughs> I don't know how people like crochet shapes I cannot do that so I don't know if I should try that I feel like if I crocheted it it would be really thick because it's a pretty thick yarn here's the blue that I'm gonna use I think for the true blue I'll do duplicate stitch I think that's fine and then for the smaller text I'll um, embroider it but for the gloves I don't know I think maybe should I try and crochet it I just don't want it to be like so stiff, but maybe I should just try and crochet it. I just like really don't know how to do that. Maybe I'll do like a six, six. I really do not know. I don't even know how big I want it. That's the thing too. I feel like, I don't know. I feel like it would be cool if it was sewed on, but I don't want it to be like so thick. Again, like I extremely don't know. I feel like I should figure out like how big I want this to be first. That might be a good idea. So I'm just starting. Like, why can't I just have a plan first? Why do I have to keep doing this? Just to get a sense. Guys, please leave me alone. Should I Google search? <laughs> Google image boxing glove. Boxing glove. Cartoon. 
I feel like that's good. Okay, I really need to figure out what I'm doing first and like where I want it. Right, okay, I need to figure out where I want everything. I did it off camera because you would have just been looking at my butt or me hunched over my bed. But I did, I did the markers and I took a picture and now I have it on my iPad. I also did the first lettering because I had to make sure, twoo, um, the space and the size was good with the like gauge and everything. And so now I have to figure out the mittens, which I'm like really nervous about in GL. I do have like other versions, but I don't think I like the other ones. The other one I had, this is true blue boxing. But I think I just want to keep it true blue. Yeah, no. Okay. 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 I'm... I also do have other versions that I fucking forgot were in here. But I think I like what I have the most. Obsessed with how terrible this comb. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Delete that. Let's try this again. This quality is actually horrific. Oh my god. Okay, that's so much better that was comical sorry you couldn't see it the picture is down and now we're gonna i'm narrating this as if you can see what i'm doing slay why does that actually work out so well oh my god look can you see the the like the purple stitch markers bro mm -hmm. right right okay i think um and this is a bad idea, but I think I'm gonna do the true blue first. And <laughs> I shouldn't, I really shouldn't. Oh, this quality is like actually horrific anyways. I'm gonna have to re-photograph when I do the embroidery. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna count out like how many rows the gloves are in this overlay as best as I can. Cause again, the quality is like actually a garbage fire so that I can get a sense of how like the size that they are but I do think I'm gonna crochet them I think I'm gonna do the duplicate stitch first just to make my life like a lot easier Last night, I got the true done. So true. And now we're gonna do the blue. Um, it looks okay. It's tough when you're using like a thicker yarn, but I haven't tried it on. Um, is it big? Do I think it's too big? No. I'm gonna do the blue. Yeah, haha. <laughs> Thank you. 
We've done the easy part. Now we have to do the gloves. Which... Okay, so I have it drawn over... <laughs> Christ. I've counted the very blurry stitches in rows to see, like, how many-ish. I really don't know what I'm gonna do. Like, I don't wanna duplicate stitch. I really don't. I'd like to crochet it. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, like, effectively, like, trace it while crocheting. Hmm. So I think maybe I'll just zoom in to the right size that matches. <laughs> and then just kind of trace it over when I crochet. So let's just take some measurement. 20 stitches. I mean, 20 rows. <laughs> Three inches. So let's see if we can do this. I'm really not, I'm not confident. We're gonna effectively try and trace that with crochet. So let me find, let's see. Where's the hook I was using? I feel like this is okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna like embroider onto it. Cause like this, I just did like the outline of it, but I'll just like embroider onto it when I like sew it onto the sweater. I don't like it. I don't like it. So I'm just gonna um, embroider it on like that. So I have to take new pictures and use stitch markers and figure my stuff out so yeah okay can you see the red dots that's how i do it that's how i did the la sweater <laughs> go back and watch that video from last year um we're gonna get Embroidering, I guess. My nose is itchy all of a sudden. I haven't even tried it on with this stuff on. And I'm just not gonna do that. <laughs> Guys, wow, look at this angle. I love being in the middle of the frame. Wow, that's crooked. My phone says that's level, but that's looks so crooked. Ugh, who cares? Okay. <coughs> oh my god. Is that really necessary? I just pulled it all the way through. Which means I lost the stitch. Oh, Christ almighty. Can I pay attention? Like, honest to God. Two, three. Okay, don't pull it through all the way. Dum dum. Yeah, like, you're kidding. You're literally kidding. That's so good. Um. I wash my hair. Okay, so originally what I was gonna do is it was gonna go, your love is tough and tried, like the lyric, and then established 1995, you were born in July 95, and it at the heat. Just more lyrics. Um, but the long text here, I think is too difficult for me at this point in time. Yeah, like, so what I was gonna do is this. But this curved lettering, I just like don't feel like figuring out right now. It's 
it's just like a little too difficult and so I'm not gonna do it. So what we're gonna do instead is we're just gonna do this. And we're still gonna have to like establish 1995, but we're just gonna say tough and tried. I think that's fine. Um, and that's all that matters because it's my sweater. So I think I'll do the bottom bit first. I'm kind of scared. I hope this is like legible. All of a sudden I don't know what fucking numbers look like. Oh my god. Yeah, like, yeah. Mm hmm And we're done, and I'm obsessed. I think the gloves look really good. I love it. I think the gloves look so good. If I do say so myself, right, right. So, yeah. So here it is. This is my Bowie sweater. Um, I don't know if the pattern's gonna be out by the time this video is out. I hope so, but I really don't know. Um, so if it is, the link is below. And if it's not, come back very soon and the pattern will be out for you to make this sweater. Um, I'd say, you know, if you're like in Australia or something and it's winter, get a move on, make the sweater now. Um, but if you're in anywhere where it's about to be summer, buy the pattern now, start the sweater now, and you'll be done by the time it's cold enough to wear it. It's simple math, really. Um, I'm gonna go make another one of these sweaters without the embroidery. Just another one. It's gonna be green and it's gonna be amazing. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Here is my Boy Genius sweater. Uh, I'm obviously not gonna play the song, um, but you should go listen to it because it's an amazing song. Um, thank you. Goodbye.